Russell Crowe, what was the, the thing with Michael Jackson? This is such an odd story. What? Huh? Oh, he just got into the habit of um, wherever I was staying, he'd just call the hotel and ask for my room and put on funny voices. And <laughs> I actually, I, I, yeah, I know, I, right? I didn't, I'd never met him, you know? <laughs> but, and the thing is, the this. first couple of people that I said it to, I was like, I didn't want to stand like I was insane, right? But <laughs> Michael, you know, prank called me today. You know? <laughs> But when I actually started talking to people who really knew him well, they go, man, he does it all the time. You know? yeah. But it was like, yeah, it was like a thing. I used to do that when I was, like, 11 and 12. <laughs> you know? I used to pretend I was a radio announcer and, and like, give people prizes <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> Trips to Fiji and all this sort of stuff. And they would get so excited. You know? <laughs> and then I would just hang up and go, wow, that was a good job well done. I made that person. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he who would, did he... Michael Jackson pretend to be? <laughs> he would... Uh, Always start off being kind of gruff, like he was the hotel management, and there was some kind of problem. You know? I'd say that's less surprising than saying you're Michael Jackson. <laughs> right, yeah. and then, then if I got kind of irritated, he'd go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "Don't worry, it's only Michael." <laughs> that's so wrong. That's so funny. And did you ever meet him? Never. <laughs> no, he. he... Are we sure it was Michael Jackson? That's what I think. Mean, a, a double prank. Are you sure it wasn't George Clooney? Because that's the kind of thing he does. Is it? It could have been George. No, it was Michael. <laughs> uh, 